Good morning, everybody. Uh, revealing words of John 10 and 30. And it says that I and my Father are one. Real quick, if you just meditate on and you believe that you and your Father are one, that those words weren't just for Jesus, then you will have gained a revelation working in your consciousness, which changes the energy that you're vibing on. And then you are able to possess the land because anything that the Father has, He passes it down to um, the son or the daughter, right? And um, I, I, I look at Clash of the Titans and uh, the Wrath of the Titans. And so Perseus was a demigod, which means that he was in between heaven and earth, much like us, because we possess the power of God. But if we don't use it, then we're not possessing what God has given us. And that superiority of having a father, mother in heaven or within us, because heaven is within us. Get that peace, that love and the, the understanding and begin to manifest because you have thought on the word and uh, um, awaken to the fact of who you are. I and my Father are one. And um, what's easy is just to chant it, you know, or to say it. I and my Father are one. I and my Father are one. I and my Father are one. It's just like someone speaking their reality to you and your subconscious takes it over. Well, you got to speak your reality to your own subconscious to change it so that you can have the things that God, Mother Goddess, uh, desired. And when I say um, God, I mean the Father, but I also want to include Goddess, Mother, because God cannot have children alone. And we'll talk about that another time. So blessings and um, let your energy be purified mentally, physically, and spiritually on the subconscious level, which means that you've got to go within. It's in a deep place that um, trauma or hurt or um, unbelief and distrust has um, captivated us. You break that area in the subconscious and it's just not speaking out and praying is speaking within yourself and believing and get this the most powerful prayer is you praying for yourself because when you pray uh, all of heaven begins to answer or look at you and say wow she's doing this or he's doing that and that's something that people don't get it's not that I don't pray for people because every morning I get up I'm praying it's like um, close to seven o'clock now I did my run and all of that and then you know, through the day I'm praying and then through the evening, because if you don't think on things that manifest in your life, then you'll always have the same things because thought is where the blessing comes from, whether it's what you want or not, it's what you think on. So take those words that God has given us all things to possess because he is our father. There is a mother goddess, just like there is a mother um, and a father that uh, has a child. And so birthing process is coming for those that are purging old thoughts and uh, receiving the new awakening, awakening. Amen. So you guys have a, a good day in this here new energy that we're receiving and uplift your sisters and brothers. And I'll talk to you soon.